Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove those terrible scroll bars that come on your website when you're using Google Sites and you have an embed. So if you'd like to know how to remove them, then of course, stay tuned. All right, so first things first, I had a really great cruise and I just wanna say that. <laughs> All right, so first thing, get out of the way. I had a fantastic cruise. It was a lot of fun. So this is one of the photos that we got while we were leaving the Bahamas. And it was really nice to be going. And I don't know, I can't wait to have another cruise. So <laughs> it was really nice. Um, and then of course, you know, I had a lot of fun. I drink way too much. I need to go back on a diet, <laughs> like little things like that. But all in all, it was a great first cruise. And so I was super excited and happy to go. But unfortunately, as soon as I got back to Central Florida, literally like on the Friday, I was trying to unpack and get ready for stuff. And then of course, Monday comes and it's like, is the hurricane gonna get you or is it not? And then of course, by Wednesday, we knew for sure that the hurricane was coming, which kind of sucks. So I didn't receive much damage, as you can see, like there wasn't really much damage going on, but there was a lot of debris from trees. So we got our yard pretty much cleaned up. There was some flooding in um, our elderly neighbors side of the yard over here, but for us, we were pretty good. Uh, this water has gone down, but it was kind of like, man, it's, there's a lot of water, but you know, Florida is kind of strange because we don't really have too many high points. Um, and we do have a lot of channels, canals, the aquifer here. So pretty much the entire state should be classified as a flood zone. Like it should be definitely classified as one. And unfortunately, some of my friend's homes, they did get flooded. So this is one of my friend's homes. Her house got flooded and she lives inland in central Florida. Um, so it was like, whoa, you know, look, look at how high the water is up on her couch. Um, so they are staying with relatives, but it just goes to show you like anything could happen. You know, one minute you're like chilling, your house is all, you know, you think you're safe and then suddenly it's underwater. And so uh, I do hope that something better comes of it because this is ridiculous. A lot of people didn't have flood insurance. Um, I think only 20% of Floridians have flood insurance because you're not classified in a flood area anyway and then it comes it comes to a point where we had um early rainy season anyway and then this big weather system comes and kind of pours all this water on top of us and it's like dang what do i do so uh yeah i have a lot of friends who are in this sort of situation so unfortunately though it's uh, a it's a part of living in florida but I digress, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so here we have um, this beautiful layout here and I will leave a link uh, below so that you can take a look at these uh, kind of magazine layouts. You can find them on CodePin, but I'll leave a link to the ones that I'm gonna show you in this video. Basically, um, these are what you would use for your full page embed. But what I'm gonna show you is how to remove the bar that comes across the side. So, because what I've realized is, sometimes I will show it and the bar will still be here and it's not necessary. And I wanna show you what it looks like on a mobile device, which it still shows up. And you know, it, it's, it's, it's not necessary, um, especially when you're considering you can scroll and so, I want to just show you how to remove this bar and it's really short and really easy to do. First thing you want to do is make sure you go ahead and head on over to some kind of code viewer. Now once you have that code viewer opened up, you're going to need a particular script and I already actually have it saved here um, in a second code viewer and I will also leave this information down below. But basically you're, you're telling the web browser that you're using to not display 
the scroll bars on the side so you're doing it for the various types of browsers which is why the uh, comments on there say hide scroll bar for chrome safari opera and then also hide the scroll bar for um uh, internet explorer edge and firefox so you will need this particular one here in order to put it inside of the script so i'm going to head back to the full page and I'm just going to copy uh, the full page embed that I have. Close. Now that I've copied it, I'm going to just show you the preview again, just so you can see uh, we have that ugly scroll bar still on the side, which is not necessary. And I'm going to go to my open one right here, and I'm just going to paste in the information. Awesome. Now that I have the information paste inside of here, you need to put this tag here inside of the body here inside of the style area so um, just so you can see there is the scroll bar on the side it's still there now I'm just gonna copy this information here and then right back inside here I'm going to paste the same information now I am going to paste it inside of the style so right after the style tag paste and just kind of give it a moment to load up because, you know, internet issues with the storm. But as you can see, I don't have that scroll bar on the side. So now I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to that full page, exit the preview, delete it because I don't need it anymore. Add, embed, paste, insert, preview. And there you have it scroll bar gone so i know that this has been an issue for a lot of people like how do i get rid of it this is the tag that you need in order to the tag this is the, the small amount of html that you need to remove scroll bar from anything that you have that is showing you that scroll bar and i'm going to show you another example on like a smaller piece of tech that's not a full page embed um just so you know that it does work in other situations all right, so here is my full page embed. Like my, this is where I dump all the embeds when I'm working on them or uh, practicing for Google Sites. And I'm gonna use this one as an example. All of these can be used as an example because when you go to um, like a mobile view, you'll see you'll get that bar there. You have it here, um, you have it there. Yep, just there. But I really wanna work on this one because when you're not clicked on, uh, clicked into something it actually doesn't display it so i'll just show you that let me refresh and so wait for it to refresh all right and as you can see when it's closed or they are collapsed and the tabs are not open you do not have that bar that shows up so let's try and fix this issue and periodically just so you know I'm gonna have internet issues because the internet has been very spotty since the storm so <laughs> please excuse me all right, so now to remove it, I'm just going to copy this information just like this, just as you would with the full page one. And then I'm actually just going to delete this because I already have it over paste shows up here, as you can see. And then I'm going to go back to where I have that information. You know, you could just hit copy on the clipboard and then right, like I said, inside of the body, I'm going to put it first. And then now I'm going to copy this information and head on back to the embed. Now I have it already there. Paste to replace. Next, save. And now we'll just go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and view it. Make it small. Slide on down. And click on Paris. And as you can see, the bar is gone. Now you still have the scroll, as you can see, because uh, the frame is just not <laughs> not appropriately sized to contain the information even once you've opened it up so um, do keep that in mind sometimes that's just the case so then you will definitely have to either change the sizing inside of the actual information or um, just do what I just did and let's just see if that made a difference scroll down here we go and perfect now it displays wonderfully and no scroll bar to the side and it fills up the screen appropriately as you can see 
still where it needs to be <laughs> so yes that is how you can remove those scroll bars from the side super easy super simple and now everyone can stop trying to figure out how to do it <laughs> this will also be shared on you know where i store things which is sierraproject.org and i'll leave a link to that site down below as well all right so that is it for this video and uh, you know <laughs> it's been kind of a i don't know weird getting back into the groove of things but i am enjoying it and as always i am trying to test a bunch of stuff to just help people create their own sites and make them way less complicated <laughs> all right so thanks so much for watching and of course see ya <laughs>